Hi, my name is Jonathan Fox and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is a series of videos um, diving into Slack AMP development and some features and functionality we can utilize. In this video today, we're going to be looking at the basics getting started with Slack AMP development. So let's jump over to api.slack.com and start creating our Slack app. So here we are at api.slack.com and I'm going to go ahead and create my first app. So create an app. We have two options. We can create from scratch or from an app manifest. Now app manifest is a relatively new feature and it is in beta. So we're going to delve into that a little bit later in a different video. Today, we're going to start from scratch. What do we want to call our app? The first question of our app building journey. Um, I'm going to call it super app. Um, you can call it whatever you want. Generally give it a name that is, um, you know, useful to whatever the app's purpose is going to be. You could even start with hello world because it's your first app and that's always the starting point of a developer's journey. Anyway, super app is what we're going to create today. I'm going to select a workspace and I'm going to select my dev workspace. Let's select a dev workspace um, because we don't want to be building something that we're either learning or testing in a production environment. So let's go ahead and use a workspace dedicated to our development. I'm going to go ahead and click create app. Now, once I've created my app, I have access to the configuration of my Slack app. So a couple of things I'm going to go ahead and do first. I am going to go straight down to the bottom here and look at my signing secret. Now the signing secret is something that needs to be kept secret, so make sure you don't publish it anywhere, um, you know, uh, public. Um, but I'm going ahead and copy that and save it somewhere safe for now, um, because I'm going to need that for later. And I'll show you where we need that later. The next thing I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to um, go to OAuth and permissions, and I'm going to go ahead and install this app into one of my workspaces. Now, to install the app, you can see it needs at least one permission. So we're going to go down to bot token scopes and we're going to add an OAuth scope. Now, what do you want your app to be able to do? In this basic demo uh, of getting started, we're going to do chat, uh, chat write. So we're going to allow our app to write a message. Now what I can do is install to a workspace and I go through the OAuth flow um, adding it to my workspace basically. Um, I'm going to click allow and it showed me the OAuth permissions that my app was allowed to do. And this is the second token I get is my bot user OAuth token. So I'm going to copy that and also save that in a place safe for me uh, to use later. Um, now I need my bot to be hosted somewhere. It needs to run um, and I've got a couple of options um, the Slack official documentation for learning uh, and, and testing, you know, um, provides a couple of options for hosting capabilities like Blitch. Um, you can even host it on your own local machine. The issue with hosting it on your own local machine in a local uh, your local host environment is it doesn't have access to the World Wide Web. Uh, you need to expose that uh, endpoint. Um, through uh, something like ng rock and that's exactly what we're going to go ahead and do so i'm going to now show you my vs code um, let me grab vs code here it is so in vs code a couple of things i need to do first to get started i am going to use node package manager to create my uh, javascript app uh, and obviously produce a couple of things such as the package.json um, I'm going to use npm install and I'm going to install a couple of things. I'm going to install slack bot, dot environment and uh, ng rock because they're three th main things that I'm going to use. And you can do this if you're not already familiar with npm. So npm i and then for example slack bolt uh, because that's the package that we're going to use to create our app easier. Uh, replace slack bolt with ng rock or dot m. Um, for our other uh, packages. Now, I mentioned at the beginning 
that we were storing those secret signing keys, um, sorry, signing secrets and bot tokens somewhere. I made a note of them and I've copied and pasted them here. That's because my app, my JavaScript file is going to reference these and use them um, to connect to my app and, and listen for things like events, write messages, etc. Um, so that here in my .env file, you'll need to create the .env file, um, use whatever variable name you need, equals, and then the tokens, the respective tokens. What you'll then need to do is create a JavaScript file. Um, here, this is literally a JavaScript app that is going to use Slack Bolt to handle things such as the challenge uh, and, and some out of the box features of the Slack apps to make our app development quicker and easier. Um, and it's just going to start and print to the console that we're running uh, using a Bolt app. Uh, it's going to do nothing else, not at the moment anyway. So two things I'm going to do first. I'm going to do ng rock uh, http 3000 and that allows my uh, app to be accessible um, on this uh, endpoint here um, publicly you know to the uh, to the world wide web outside of my local host environment um, and then I'm going to start my my app I'm going to use nodemon because it means that if I make any changes to the JavaScript file here um, it will restart uh, with the changes applied. So nerdmon index.js and fantastic. So I know it's running. I've got my uh, endpoint here. So I'm going to go ahead now and copy that. And what I want to do now is expand the capabilities of this app because you know it's, all it's doing is started. It's not doing anything else just yet. So we're going to go now into events, uh, event subscriptions, and we're going to enable events because we want our app to be able to listen to events. Um, we're going to paste that endpoint there. Now I need to add something on the end because we're using a bolt app. It makes you know routing a lot easier because now anything on Slack events, anything posted there, my app running in VS Code on my local host via ng rock um, will. Uh, listen to any events now that my bot is subscribed to. So it's verified. The request URL is verified. Um, my my app is available, um, and it, it you know it can communicate. We need to subscribe to some events. So let's go ahead and finish off this getting started with Slack apps with a simple. Um, when somebody opens the app home, it'll send them a message. Now, there we go. App home event name so my app subscribes to the event uh, event of app home opened I'm going to click that um, what we also want to do is go to app home and just make sure I don't think it will be yet the home tab is on as well because we want to be able to use the home tab uh, we, you know it needs to be there um, now let's go ahead and open our slack uh, developer environment that I installed the app on and we can see my app is there. Now, before I do anything, I need to give my app some functionality um, because at this moment in time, my app doesn't do anything. So let's go ahead and just change, well, let's just add a feature. I'm going to go ahead and add at the bottom here, this function listening to the app home opened event and passing in the event so I can utilize some of the parameters such as the user who's done it and I'm going to use the safe function uh, to say hello world and whatever the user's name is so the app greeting them in the messages of the app home um, and I'm also going to print to the console this uh, so that I know that it's it's working the way I want it to. So I'm going to go ahead and save because I'm using Nodemon rebuild the app. Um, and now if I head over to Super App, I'm on the app home. I've just opened it. it. The event has been triggered, and we may be able to see that in our console. There you go. You can see that it has printed to the console log. And if we were to head over to Messages, we can see it says Hello World and Jonathan Fox. Uh, that's my Username on here. So as you can see, 
really simple getting started with Slack app building um, in JavaScript to reiterate what we've done. We have created a JavaScript file with a, uh, a, an anonymous async function which starts the app on the correct port. We're using ng-rock to expose our local dev, um, local host deve developer environment um, you know, publicly. Uh, we're using environment variables to store our signing key and token securely. Um, and then within api.slack.com, we have configured basic information where we can take this signing secret. Um, OAuth and permissions where we have taken the bot user OAuth token and installed it to the correct workspace where we want to do our development. And the way that we get this bot OAuth token, remember, is by adding a scope, chat.write, because we wanted it to post that message. And we have subscribed to an event by using our ng rock um, URL, appending on the end Slack events, and then subscribing to the particular event that we want to listen to. In this case, app home opened. Now, to finish off, to make that app look a bit smarter, I will let you go ahead and explore the rest of this uh, because the rest of these videos, we're going to look at more um, uh, different uh, events that we can uh, listen to and different functionality posting into channels and joining channels, etc. But here, what you can start looking at doing is making your app look pretty. Give your app a really nice description, give it a nice color, um, and perhaps give it a logo. And when you uh, do implement those as description, what you can see is when you head over to Slack, that's where these uh, th th this information on the Slack app will change. Uh, obviously, when you update it, reinstall it. Um, I hope that was a particularly useful video to help you get started with Slack app development. Look forward to the next videos where we do delve into different events as well as um, different functionality that the app can do, not just post messages. And then eventually we're going to build this app out to be able to integrate with other services, external platforms. So until next time, thank you very much for joining me on this video uh, and bye for now. Thank you.